Hi everyone, it's Ryan Scher here with PCDJ Dex3. This is a quick demo of how to use the record your mix function, the record function in Dex3. Uh, in all the default skins, you'll find the record button in the top right corner of the display of your GUI here, uh, labeled record. Now, this feature is great if you're using the internal built-in mixer of Dex3, the virtual on-screen mixer. Record will work great. Uh, record your mix, your mixed output perfectly. You know, obviously to create a mix and save a mix, it's great if you're, you know, want to listen to it yourself, of course, but uh, for those DJs that are trying to acquire a job in a venue or something, you can make your mixed CD, give it to your the club owner, uh, the promoter, whoever uh, you need to impress with your mixing skills. So uh, the, the thing with record, it's best used if you're using the built-in mixer, as I was saying, or if you're using a DJ controller that does the mixing internally. There's two different types of DJ controllers. Some that have, you know, most of them obviously today have the built-in mixers. Uh, some of those mixers work just like an external physical mixer where you're routing player A to one channel, player B to a separate one. In those cases, in that case, uh, record your mix isn't going to work properly because it's going to record both decks. It doesn't know what your physical mixer is doing externally, you know, what position the crossfader is at, uh, what channel the volume might be down on. So it's just going to record what's coming from the software. So for DJ controllers or those just using any standard physical DJ mixer, the record your mix feature internally isn't going to work all that good. It's not, not ideal for that. However, for DJ controllers that do the mixing internally, and I know that a lot of the new marks do that, like the MixTrack Pro 2, for example, uh, it will mix internally instead of externally. And what I mean by that is both player A and B are routed to the mixer as one independent channel as your main, let's say, your main output. And then uh, your headphone cue is on a dedicated channel. In that instance, recording your mix will also work brilliantly. Uh, MixTrack Pro 2, MixDeck Express, I think, is another one that does it that way. Uh, MixDeck Quad. Uh, so if you're a user of one of those, the record function will work great as well. So recording your mix, what it does obviously is record your mix uh, to a WAV file, which you can then burn to a disk, convert to an MP3, however you want to use it, uh, and it's real simple to do. So first what we got to do, I'm using the default 2DEX skin here in DEX3, uh, is just click the record button. As soon as you click the record button, a dialog box will pop up uh, that will ask you where you want to save the recording to. It's going to say save as type, it's already going to show WAV file. And you're just going to name the file. It might be AI, AIFF on a Mac. Uh, I can't confirm that right now, but either way, it'll record and do the exact same thing on a Mac. Uh, so right now, we we'll want to type this in. There we go. You put in your name for your mix and just hit save. Now, as soon as I hit save, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So we'll just take a couple tracks, throw them in the decks. Real quick, hit play. Nothing practice here, so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this. All right, so we've created a mix. And as soon as I hit record again, it will end the mix. Well, stop recording. So now, and since I've saved this to my desktop, I'll quickly show you what the end result is. Let me see. I'll just open the desktop from the Explorer section of the software, and there's my mix that I created under the name I made it. And there you go. That easy. Hope that helps you guys uh, create your mixes and uh, enjoy. Until next time, keep mixing.